Right now, the Detroit Lions cheerleaders are kicking off their auditions for the upcoming season. The two day event is being held at Ford Field in downtown Detroit, and that's where you find 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson there this morning. Uh, how's it going so far, Jen? Oh, it's really exciting. In fact, registration just opened up and when I say registration, these ladies had to pre register online, but now they are physically walking up, turning in their resumes, their headshots, and this is a dance resume plus a work resume. This is a job, not just a performance opportunity, and these ladies work very hard to get here and they'll work very hard if they get the open slot. I'm standing next to Rebecca Smoker. You're the director of the Detroit Lions cheerleaders and you've worked very hard to create this program to grow yeah. it year number for how are you feeling excited <laughs> it's always this like it's like Christmas it really is um, but we've just been working really hard for the last four years and so we're just looking for a group to carry on traditions that we've started and that have been so successful so it's just a great day it's gonna be fun too now that the program is really established mm -hmm. to see who is coming out and who is interesting I, I think for any type of group when you're new it's a little harder to entice the top talent but once you've established yourself I'm sure you're seeing a different exactly. caliber. Right, yes. And so it's just a, a lot about training and getting to know what the job entails because it's a very public facing job. They perform in front of 65,000 people, so the pressure is very high. Um, and so now we have we have candidates who are waiting to turn 21 who are really training and excited to finally be able to be of age to try out. So Okay, so let's dive into what it takes to be sure. a Detroit Lions cheerleader. We see them dance and perform on the field, right. but what types of qualities are you really looking for? Looking for that well-roundedness, a candidate who can handle the pressure and be able to actually really speak to the fans and entertain the fans from a, you know, a really genuine place. Um, everything that we do is fan-facing, whether it's performing on the, you know, in our long routines or on the sidelines, but mostly in the community. We really um, pride ourselves on doing a lot of community service work um, with the Lions and other organizations, and we just we need candidates who are just going to have a big heart when it comes to that. Now, your ladies are high-level athletes, but right. for the fans who are watching now and who watch them perform, what are some things that they may not know or realize about the ladies who are on the team? Yeah, so a couple of things. One is that they have families. Um, you know, many are have been dancing their whole lives and have a long career of dancing and entertainment, and um, some have might have children and just have, you know, families um, but their careers is what's really impressive and the things that they do and the level that they're at in their in their careers is a big deal they're highly educated we have PhD students we have medical doctors we have lawyers we have women who are just really making a difference in their community as well and so um, I think that 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 part of it is just like not not talked about enough because these women aren't just um, dancers they're so much more than that they are leaders in the community Absolutely. when they take this position. Yes, for sure. All right, so you've got a group of them behind us that are excitedly, nervously waiting in line. What? How many of them actually might make the cut? Um, well, we take the best of the best of the candidates at the audition. We look for around 30 um, employees to fulfill all the job responsibilities throughout the season. So. So okay. yeah, around 30, we'll get there. <laughs> well, now that we've talked about how how smart, how talented, how involved this role is, I, I mean, I had rehearsed and prepared a couple of cheers. Now I feel like I it doesn't matter because that's such a small little part it that it's probably right. the it's dance. Like job application. Right. Um, yeah. We're looking for the best candidates and, um, and it's a coveted spot. So there's hundreds of people that yeah. express interest all year long. Okay. So even though they're not here at auditions, we do have, uh, yeah. it's just a highly coveted spot. Well, if it was all about rhyming and coming up with cheers, I might have a shot and knew and Hallie yeah. when we were back in the station. You know, I was rehearsing, I was practicing, and I've got one for you. Yes. Now that I'm a reporter at Channel 7. You call it a job. I say it's heaven. Back to you. Oh, see. Very <laughs> well done, done, Jennifer Ann. You get a spot. She just nice. that, that was absolutely nice. nice. at least honorary something. <laughs> yes, something. exactly. Just for yeah, her better than what uh, we'd come up with. Right. I'm sure. And she brings that energy to the table she every does. day. She so. is. Our, she's our resident cheerleader. She sure <laughs> is. All right. Well,